if you install a file and it fails to import, always check the recommended edition because if it's for a Java edition, it's not going to import into MCPE. If you see pat.mcmeta or fabricmod.json or any jars inside of the files, it's definitely for Java edition. Try looking for an alternative for better edition. So if you ever installed a file and you click on it and Minecraft doesn't show up, when renaming the pack to remove the .zip, make sure that there's no spaces in the extension. Use a file explorer instead because most default apps may not recognize .mc files. Incorrect file extension can cause a pack add-on world or template not to import. So add the extension to the zip files accordingly. So resource textures, skin packs, and shaders are .mc pack. Add-ons are .mc add-on or pack. Worlds are .mc worlds and templates .mc template. So sometimes removing the .zip and adding .mc world doesn't always work. So to fix this issue, you want to extract the zip file. So just long press on it, click on more and extract. So once extracted, select all of these files, click more and compress them. So long press on the compressed file, click rename and add .mc world. And now you can tap on it and import it into Minecraft and the world should successfully import. The same thing goes for if you have a world that you backed up or if it comes like this, long press on it and add the dot zip and then extract it and repeat the same process. So next up is invalid zip archive. So what you want to do is exit Minecraft, make sure it's not opened anywhere and long press on the file, click on rename and add dot zip and then extract it. So once it is finished, open the extracted files. If it's a add-on, you'll see the behavior and the resource pack. So you want to open one of them and select all of these files. And then compress them. Okay, so after that you want to long press, click on rename and add .mc pack or whichever extension works. Okay, so once you're done, just import it into Minecraft. Uh, exit Minecraft and you want to repeat the same process for the resource pack. If you're importing a add-on and this doesn't work, try .mc add-on instead. If you're still getting issues with invalid zip archive, missing manifests, or if you zip the file it doesn't extract, it means that the zip file is either damaged or broken. So make sure that the files are zipped. So just add .zip at the end. To fix this, open this app called RAR and go over to the zip file. So this is it here. Open it. And select all of the files to extract them. This will extract each one individually. So once extracted you want to go back over to the space that has the downloads and you'll see the extracted file there. So open it and select all of them and compress. And there you go. That is the fixed part right there. So remove the dot zip. Or if it doesn't have an extension, add one. And there we go, guys. This should definitely import into Minecraft now. This works for our Minecraft worlds, um, templates, packs, etc. Just rename them accordingly. So for add-ons, it's a little bit different because they have both a behavior and a resource pack. So you want to repeat the same process for one of the packs first uh, before you do the other one. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the behavior pack first. Now, once you're done, put the behavior pack in a separate folder. And long press and move this over to the new file. You want to repeat the same process for the resource pack. So that is why I moved the behavior pack to a new folder. Because if I didn't, both of them would have 
merge together. So now all you have to do is put this in Minecraft now, like we did with the behavior pack. And next is missing manifest or UUID. Uh, the UUID is part of the manifest. This can sometimes be a glitch, um, so I highly recommend trying one of the two methods that I just showed. This doesn't have missing manifest, but I'll show you this as an example. Okay, so first you want to long press on the pack and click on rename and add does it. And then you want to extract it. So after extracting it, I'll just open it and delete the manifest pack. Go over to this website. This will generate a working manifest pack. So to do this, you just start by selecting a resource pack if it's a resource pack, of course. Uh, then you want to go over to the name. Just give it um, any name. It could be the name of the pack. And there we go. And once you're finished with that, just download it. And then go back to the files. And in the downloads, it should be there. So we're going to long press on that. And move it over to the pack. And if it has any numbers, just remove those. Once you're done, just select all of the files and compress them. And there we go. All we have to do is add the .mc add-on or pack. And now you can open it in Minecraft. If you know some more reasons why any of the things mentioned in the video may happen or you are experiencing any issues, you can let me know in the comment section down below or in my Discord server. Uh, which is linked below check out this video right here if it's not there yet it's actually the next video that is coming so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys there